a little disappointed when they first see the house because, uh, well, I can see the garage, that's um, where the restaurant is, and to find out it's much bigger than it looks. Um, the house is still full of Melba's uh, <coughs> There are possessions. Um, many of them are uh, very fragile, so for obvious reasons we can't touch anything. But you can take pictures of them up. And uh, where are the rugs? They can be a little bit slippery. Easy to trip on. Um, now, um, the, fa the, the house still belongs to Melbourne's family. They uh, live in England. Um, they were here last week, or a week or so ago. Um, but you'll notice some of the rooms are still lived in. Um, but most of the ones we visit are almost exactly as they were in Melbourne's time. Um, but behind the scenes, it's really a holiday now. So, um, the entrance hall. Now, this room's also a little bit misleading because, well, you will notice as we move through the house, Melba liked light. She's, uh, like her room's as light as possible. You see bay windows, skylights. This is the exception. Um, but I think she probably liked the wood panelling and thought, I'll just have a little bit in the front. And she's done that. She's mixed different influences from different places. Um, there is a lot of French, English and Italian influence, but um, and the house was described as an Italian villa, but she, her decor is even more eclectic. That's the Japanese artist. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. stays like this and that was the deal Melba told her son George you have to keep it just like this and they've done that pretty well um, some rooms have changed through there the billiard room is uh, well it's got a television um, <laughs> Spilled over into Melba's kitchen, so this is not her liner. It's not her sink over there. This is her sink, and this is her stove, hot water service, and copper pots. And well, everything with a monogram, of course. It's very mm -hmm. helpful. It's very helpful in determining what was hers, because yeah, you've got several generations of here. So this is the original. This is it, but it's changed a bit. But yeah, this this is all original. So this would have catered for a lot of people. Yeah, um, she did it's have small, large garden it? parties. Yeah, I wonder how that they, they did that back then. But yeah. possibly she just brought in more. This 
her bedroom. This is her bedroom. Robert's bedroom. Okay. This is her cabin luggage. Very heavy, though. Okay. Nearly put my back out here, and that's from the other side of the house. Um, <laughs> so you really need for a long trip. So yeah. is this the only, co like, is this cosmetic thing she's got on? Oh, well, she was, yeah, she, when she came home in, um, this was a kind of heater, maybe. Kind of a heater. Uh, the fireplace on the other side produces the one that fries the towels. Mm -hmm. And they need to fry the towels, we come in here. Um, Lady Vesti would tell people that um, Nilva always wanted more privacy because she had staff running around and that's why she made wow. it in the cupboard. I don't know about that story. I don't know she just shut the door. <laughs> um, uh, possibly this was the style. I think she saw it. Oh, I love that. It's very neat. It's pretty, yeah, yeah. Um, well, probably kept it much warmer in here. Um, mm -hmm. So we've got a little sitting room in here. I've also got a gallery out here if you can't fit in there. It's up to you. You can go back. Things from 100 years ago look much smaller. Oh, yeah. yeah so sort of the rooms. People were so much smaller. And they, yes, I read. The rooms and everything they had there. Yeah. Yeah, I found them in a drawer once ago. I can't believe what I got. Oh, they're, they're the holders. Oh, they're the holders. Yeah. You know, okay. So yes, because people didn't touch the the, the yeah. box back then. Right? Uh, they so poke it in yeah. there and. Mm. Yeah, they're the jewellery books. He explains who some of them are from. He said Queen Alexandra, and the Prince of Wales. You mentioned Edward Wallingford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was going to visit Edward Wallingford. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's a huge name in this, these parts. She designed so many of Victoria's great gardens. So they were good friends, yeah? Yeah, they were. And after Melba's death, she um, she raised money for a memorial garden in Moral Park, which I don't think is around anymore. Yeah, so um, let's put together some interesting things. This is royal themed. These are invitations, you know, she's a coronation, um, weddings. Very close uh, with King Edward VII. 